Using pre-designed templates is a great way to save time and be more productive as you work in studio. Why reinvent the wheel when chances are a talented designer has already created something that will work perfectly for your project? To start a project using an existing template, log into your account and choose Template Gallery to begin your search. What you're looking at now is a small fraction of the 2,300 plus templates you have at your disposal to create a beautiful Heritage Makers project. The good news is that you can pinpoint your search in a number of different ways to limit your view to only the most appropriate templates. First, if you have a specific subject in mind, you can type a keyword into the very first field and press search. You can either start browsing through these designs, or you can choose to further refine your search by adding additional criteria to limit the template options. For example, if you look below the keyword search line, you will find a field with the label Show that allows you to narrow your search to just storybooks, prints, playing cards, or photo gifts. If you have a particular size in mind, you can even be more specific. You can also sort by other factors. The Sort By field lets you assign priority to templates that are currently the most popular company-wide. This is the default option, and usually your best bet. Some users, however, might want to take a look at the most recent additions to our template gallery, so they would choose Sort By Date Added. If you do not have a Premier Membership, you may want to focus solely on the basic templates that come with the free account. The membership field allows you to do just that. As a Premier member, you have access to a much wider array of templates as well as individual design elements. For more information, go to the home page, click the Sign Up button, and choose Premier Account. Another approach to finding the right template for your project is the Search By Category field. Here you can look at the various groupings such as Baby, Family, Holidays, pet, or vacation. By the way, Cornerstone indicates the basic storybooks that Heritage believes everyone should have, including books on your children, your parents, your grandparents, and your family values. If you are new to Heritage Makers, the Cornerstone series is a great place to start. Once you have refined your search, you can begin looking through the suggested templates. Each template has a title, a thumbnail image of the cover, the name of the person who created the design, the project type, and a unique ID number. When you select a particular design from the template gallery, your project will be given a new number, so it will not be confused with the original. The symbol with the letter P indicates it requires a Premier membership. Finally, there are two buttons labeled Details and Preview. Clicking on the Details button provides a description of the template as well as keywords used for the search function. If the template is part of a Premier collection, there will be a box you will need to check. At this point, you have three options. Number one, if you are not interested in the template, click the X in the upper right corner and continue browsing. Or number two, you can select Get This Template, which adds it to your My Templates file, which we will discuss later. Or number three, you can click on the Get and Keep Browsing button, which adds the file to My Templates but keeps you in the template gallery, so you can look for other possibilities. Now let's explore the Preview button. This is a great tool because after a short loading period, it lets you take a page-by-page -page look at any project. With Preview, you can look at each double-page spread of a storybook or all the panels of a greeting card. You can enlarge the image to full screen if you want to magnify the image for an even closer look. This series of buttons lets you change the background for optimum viewing contrast. Over here on the right side of the screen, you can click Share to send an email link of the preview to someone else so they can see the wonderful projects that are possible with Studio. You could also post the link to a web page or blog. The final button, Make One, takes you back to the Start a New Project page. If you have saved a particular template to the My Templates file, you can click on this button to access it. Here again, you have three options. Number one, you can choose to view to take another look at the template. Or number two, you can choose Start My Own, which will move the template into the My Projects in Progress area, so you can start to edit the project. Lastly, you can hit Remove if you are no longer interested in the template. Okay, let's say you want to go ahead and start working on a template. 
We're going to click on Start My Own, which takes you to the My Projects in Progress. This first button, Edit, launches the Studio Editor and loads the template. The template will include all photo and text placeholders, embellishments, and backgrounds. Going forward with the editing process will be covered in another tutorial. For now, let's go back to the previous screen and check out the other options. View allows you to look at the preview again. Copy is important to know about. Click on this button if you want to start a new project based on the design of an existing template you have already worked on. You will be prompted to enter a new name for the copied project. Rename is used to refine or change the name of something you are already working on. And Delete removes the template from your Projects in Progress file. So that's a rundown of how to work with the incredible variety of templates that are available through Heritage Makers. The fact that this extensive library is constantly updated with templates from both studio users and home office designers makes it a powerful resource to Heritage Makers everywhere.